Now in other news, family and friends are remembering the life and legacy of a local dentist who died suddenly over the weekend. A WVUA 23's Jelsey Barden is live in the studio now with more on the passing of Dr. Eric Hughes. Chelsea. Philip, the 37-year-old orthodontist, was found in four feet of water near his home on Laurel Road in Northport on Saturday. His wife told authorities her husband had cut the grass that afternoon and had gone into the lake to cool off. Those close to Dr. Hughes are still in shock that he is gone. Life is precious. You never know one day to the next. You know, he was so full of life, and you would never expect something so tragic to happen to somebody that really was part of this community. Dr. Hughes has kept Dorina Mink and her family smiling for the last three years. He did two of her children's orthodontics and was in the process of perfecting Dorina's smile when he passed away. But she says he was more than just a doctor. It's just going to be a huge loss to this community, um, to his staff, and I know his family because if he was that special to his patients, I know he was even more special to his, his family. Family is the word practice manager Gina Rutledge uses to describe the staff and patients at Tuscaloosa Orthodontics, the practice Hughes has owned now for almost six years. One patient even, even posted, I'm putting my retainer in for you tonight. <laughs> and um, just, just really, uh, the phone calls I've received today just show what a, a, a gentleman he was and how much he loved his patients. Local dentist Wesley Wright calls you someone who is highly respected in the dental profession and as a man. He was such a hospitable person, um, so nice and um, so good to, to the kids. I referred, you know, many kids to him and um, he's just really going to be missed a lot. Aside from colleagues and friends, Hughes leaves behind a young family. They, of course, have our thoughts and prayers with them during this tragic time. His precious wife, Sarah, um, just wonderful, wonderful people. Um, the three baby girls, just just beautiful, and, and we're just heartbroken that they, they will grow up not knowing how wonderful he is. But um, he leaves a legacy that um, I'm sure they will hear about and read about. He was just special like that. Now, Rutledge also tells us several local dentists have stepped up offering to help during this time of need. If you're a patient with an appointment at Tuscaloosa Orthodontics and have not heard from some of their staff there, your appointment has not changed. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.